I've broken my motorway driving video down into shorter sections to make it easier to digest the information. This section looks at leaving the motorway. Let's look at how to use a junction to leave the motorway. I want to leave at the next exit and this sign shows me it's in half a mile's time. Travelling at 60 miles an hour means I cover a mile in a minute, so half a mile will take me about 30 seconds. And I'm going to maintain a steady speed until I'm on the slip road, unless people ahead of me slow. I'm still on the motorway, I need to maintain progress, not slow down and cause issues for people behind me. Here's my countdown marker, it's 300 yards, I've put my left indicator on now to let people know I'm leaving, maintain my speed as I pass the 200 and the 100, check my mirrors, make sure no one's going to cut across in front of me at the last minute, and then steer gently onto the slip road. I know I want to turn right at the roundabout at the end of the slip road, so I've aimed for the right hand lane on the slip road on this occasion. Now I need to bring my speed down for the roundabout at the end. Check your speedo, you won't feel the speed you're actually doing. You'll feel like you're only doing 20 mile an hour, but your speedo will tell you you're doing 50. Trust your speedo, it'll be right. Your speed awareness will be wrong, and you need to be prepared to stop at the end of the slip road, as in this case, I've got a red light. You don't always get a nice long straight slip road when you're leaving. Sometimes you get sharp bends quite soon on the slip road. If you've been travelling at a steady 70 mile an hour for a couple of hours and then turn onto a slip road like this, you've really got to work at your speed awareness, getting your speed down for these bends. Check that speedo and trust it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. The next video in this series will look at defensive driving on the motorway and planning and awareness. It will particularly look at managing the space around your vehicle and expecting other people to make mistakes and allowing them the space to make those mistakes without causing you any issues. Thanks for watching.